Okay, while well, the bike is being serviced, I thought I would talk a little bit about traveling split in October. It's a good idea. <laughs> you should definitely do it. It's in the middle of October right now. The weather is pretty much perfect. 24 degrees high today and pretty much the same the next 10 days, two weeks maybe. So the end of the month looks like this. And there's nobody on the beach. Pick your spot. If you wanna take in the sun, there's plenty of room. As you can see, there's some people there. So it's warm enough to do so. But nobody's here. Why? I know this is fully packed in the summer months because I've been here a couple of times. So right now, it's so peaceful. And still the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I'm quite surprised that it's this quiet. I thought there would be some tourists here, but there are none, like absolutely zero. It's so really surprising to me. <laughs> Feels like there's only locals here. Yes, the only language that I can hear is local. kilometers from these OEM tires, these Pirelli STRs rally. Let's see how the bike looks with the Anarchy Wilds. Nice, isn't it? Trusty Anarchy Wilds. I've had this before on my BMW. Brand new rubber, gotta love that. Let's look at the rear one. Oh yeah, there's a lot more chunk to that than the Pirelli. We got to check out how these are off-road. Maybe even today. Let's see if I have the energy. I'll show you the view. I have heard that Finland is not this nice at this time. <laughs> okay, see you on the road with those new tires. Crazy dudes here in Croatia. <laughs> Just standing on a ledge. No safety harness, no nothing. Yep. It's a long way down. I was lazy yesterday and uh, I didn't get the chance to test those Anaki Wilds. But maybe we do it now. Pretty steep incline. And it should be more gravel towards Dubrovnik. At least that's what I programmed in, in the Osmand. Oh, a glove! <laughs> these were weird, I, I already saw one of these. I have to duck down to get under it. It 
is some kind of a restriction to taller vehicles not to come here. Wow, what did I tell you? The view is super nice. Wow, it's just... <laughs> Look at these views. I have to stop here and just admire them. Gorgeous. Oh, absolutely stunning. Okay, so I guess now we're going coming down pretty useless little detour but I wouldn't really say that because look look at that this just invites you to drive very slowly and just looking at the distance whoa <laughs> Oh my, it just gets better. Oh. Are you feeling this? Because <laughs> I'm really feeling it. I can't stop smiling, it's so beautiful. Some experience now on the tarmac with the Anaki Wilds. <clears throat> it feels like a, the tire is softer, definitely. What's significant is the sound they make. It's not unbearable, but you can notice it definitely. It's louder than the engine itself, so you are gonna need earplugs driving these tires. It's barely noticeable at 80 kilometers an hour, so at that speed, it's, it's fine. But at highway speed, definitely some earplugs are, are going to be needed. Anaki Wild definitely pulls harder here. Well, of course, the Pirelli was also very worn on this trip. It was also already driven so much, almost to the end. But you can definitely feel the improvement of the Anaki Wild in here, in this stuff. Yeah, so far these Michelins are feeling pretty good.
And yeah, now I got a little bit of a feeling of these Anaki Wilds. I like them. I really do. Bit of a break here. Not a bad spot to take a break. Really don't feel like driving super fast here. <laughs> if any cars come the other way, they're gonna push me down there. It's a straight cliff. With my skill level, <laughs> this is kind of an elephant to get down these hills. There's a lot of stones here, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the left lane. <laughs> That's a good idea. Shit! Quite nasty ruts here. Attached by a magnet. It's good to know that you can actually have it attached with the rope. Good thing that I taped this <laughs> first time it broke out. If I didn't tape it, I wouldn't have this receiver now. So I almost lost the receiver and the transmitter today. I guess this has been a pretty good test to the wild. A little bit of everything, even some twisties. And I'm starting to like these tires. I'm starting to have more confidence in them. Because the start of this day, I was really hesitant on trusting these, even on the smaller tarmac twisties. 
I didn't trust the tire, but right now I'm, I'm starting to get the feel of it. <clears throat> and it gave me some confidence boost on the gravelly uphills there, because it pulled so well. Wasn't hesitating one bit on any of the section, even though the incline was pretty steep. So they do their job. And I would say they are, of course, better than the Pirelli Rally STR on the gravelly stuff. There was no sand or mud today. It remains to be seen, but uh, from the BMW days, I already know they are pretty good. Not amazingly good, but pretty good. Good enough for my drives anyway. Is it this way or? Okay, it's this one. Preparate! Let me see you jump! Preparate! Get ready! Get, get, get! Venga! Ahí baila! Todo el mundo! Let me see you jump! at Dubrovnik I have to watch out for the cars they are crazy <laughs> but uh, yeah there's no sidewalks here either by the way better be careful look there's still some ships there so tourism isn't over in Dubrovnik it's interesting to see how many people there are tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're going to King's Landing. <laughs> so if you know the reference, uh, Dubrovnik is one of the main places where they shot the... What is the, what is the series called? Game of Thrones. So yeah, it's a beautiful place. I've been there once. It was so full of tourists that I didn't really enjoy it. So I thought I would try it again tomorrow. I'm gonna take a taxi or a bus or something. I know I don't wanna go there by bike because it's uh, pretty difficult to park there, even if there's not many people there. I don't think there are many parking places and it's pretty close, so I might as well take a taxi. But I just wanted to see these boats before I go to sleep. I'm gonna be here for two nights. And after that, it's a change of country. So I'm gonna be going to Montenegro. I've been to Budwa one, once. I was there for a week. So I'm probably gonna try and find out some other place. Even though Budwa was really nice. I'm gonna probably check out some smaller town if it's possible and then from there I'm gonna go to Albania which is brand new territory for me I've never been there so maybe that's gonna be interesting what's impressive is that I did the whole day with one single battery on the DJI so it's an impressive camera it can really record a lot of content with the one single single battery they sell the battery pack like three batteries and a charger case but i don't really see the need for it you can just charge up the one battery pretty fast with a power bank or or if you have usbs on your bike if you run out but i <laughs> i don't think you will and if you run out of battery you're probably recording something you shouldn't be because I recorded way too much content today and still didn't run out of battery. <sighs> I think this is enough. I'm not gonna go any closer. Let's see if we can see them a little bit better like this. 
Yeah, the other boat on the left is way, way bigger. But this is easier to see from here. The bigger boats require a lot more walking, so I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna have to just... This, this bridge is beautiful. I actually remember this place because I used to be, maybe like five years ago, you rode this road from the other side of this river and then from there up to the mountains. I stayed there for two, one week, one week, yeah, I, I think it was one week. Nice Airbnb back then and uh, that's when I was in Dubrovnik. And that's when I told myself that uh, two days in Dubrovnik is plenty. <laughs> if you don't really want to deep down, deep dive into the history of the place and everything, you can see pretty much the architecture in, in a couple of days, just walking there. Actually, what I loved the most when I was here was uh, at nighttime going to the harbor in the Dubrovnik harbor and uh, having a couple of beers there that was a nice nice thing to do the last time but I had had company back then so now I don't so I'm not probably gonna do that alone but if you have someone with you it's very romantic <laughs> so you should do that at night time it's a beautiful place maybe that's the outro for the video I hope you enjoyed some of that. I noticed that um, I had some uh, mosquitoes or something on the lenses at, at points and I, I forgot to clean them. So I hope the material is not completely ruined. But yeah, post in the comments if you think this kind of a video style that I'm editing is good or, or should I make the video shorter or slice them into pieces or do you like a long term long content like half an hour of their video or is this all just shit <laughs> and i should never make any videos <laughs> again <laughs> that's another other possibility as well i'll make something from the Dubrovnik tomorrow so you can see the place from my perspective i'm gonna go buy some food and prepare for tomorrow and the day after that we have an early exit we have to leave the apartment at 10 o'clock in the morning so we have plenty of time to drive to Montenegro and hopefully then I won't forget anything and have to drive back like 40 kilometers <laughs> like today that pretty much ruined the day but it was still nice a bit more driving than I like to do but a nice day so see you tomorrow